Oh, hello. I told you guys that I would do this, and I am going to do it. Now, remember, we have an assessment on Friday. We are going to be working on this again tomorrow and stuff, but I know you have some homework dealing with division tonight, so we're going to just, I'm going to go through a couple problems and talk you through each step, and hopefully that will help clarify some things for you. So here's my division problem. It's 638 divided by 4. All right, so what I do first is I look at the first number there, and I ask myself, can 4 go into 6? Yes, it can. So how many times? Once. So I put a 1 over here. 4 times 1 is 4. And then, because I don't have these two underlined, I need to put zeros underneath them. And if I have to put a zeros over here, I have to do the same amount of zeros on this side. And then I subtract. So it's 8, 3, and 2. All right. Now I ask myself, underline the first digit. Can 4 go into 2? No, it can't. So I extend the line over to 23 and ask myself, can 4 go into 23? Yes, it can because 23 is bigger. How many times? Five times. So I put a 5 out here. 5 times 4 is 20. And I put a, have to fill in a 0 over here. So I have to fill a 0 in here. And then I subtract 38. Now I, repeat, I just repeat the process over again. Can 4 go into 3? Nope. So I extend it over. Can 4 go into 38? Yes, it can, because 38 is bigger than 4. 4 times what gets us close to 38? nine. So four times nine is 36. I subtract two. Underline the two. Can four go into two? No, it cannot. So two is my remainder. There's nothing else here. So I come up to the top. All right, two is my remainder. I add up all of these to get 159 as my quotient. Now, one of the things I would like you to do, though, is check your work. So how do I check my work? Well, I take my quotient, which is 159, and using my calculator, I put that in and multiply it by my divisor, which is 4. Okay, so you get 6, 3, 636, and you add a remainder if you have one, 638 and that is what my dividend was to begin with. So I got this problem correct. Let's do one more. Seven hundred and eighteen divided by eight. So, I repeat the process. What do I do? Put a line under my the digit First digit of my number. Seven go, eight go into seven? <coughs> no, it doesn't. So I extend my line over to 71. Does eight go into 71? Yes, it does, because 71 is bigger. How many times? Use your multiplication chart if you need to. You'll see eight times eight is 64. And 
but I got a number out here, got a digit, so I got to put a zero there. And since I put a zero here, I've got to put a zero out there to even it up. Balance my equation. Subtract. Seventy-eight. So, repeat the process. Can eight go into seven? No, it cannot. <coughs> Extend my line over. Can eight go into seventy-eight? Yes, it can, because it's bigger. <coughs> How many times? Eight times nine is 72. So I put a 9 out here, 72. I have nothing left that's not underlined, so I do not have to add any zeros. I subtract 6. Underline the 6. Can A go into 6? Nope. Can't go into 6. So this becomes my remainder. And I add these two numbers up to get 89, and that is my quotient. How do I check this? Again, I put my quotient in, which is 89, into my calculator, times it by 8, and then add my remainder if I have one and 718 718 all right well hopefully this um, helps you out if you have are still having issues refer back to your student reference book and make sure to come in tomorrow we'll spend tomorrow going over this information and going through these and hopefully answering any questions that you have all right, see you then.